Welcome parents, athletes, coaches. I am here at Atlantic Health with Dr. Damian Martins of Atlantic Sports Health and we're talking about weight training with young athletes. Now I know Dr. Martins, you've obviously worked with athletes at all levels and I know you're the physician for the New York Jets and you work with pro athletes and you've done a lot of things over the years in, in, in athletics and yeah. this topic of weight training with young athletes is still not completely understood by the general public and you know, I know we talked about this previously. Why don't you share with the audience, you know, what does that mean and what's the difference and what does the research show from your perspective? Well, Bill, first off, thanks for having us. I think this is a <clears throat> very important topic. It's probably one that I get the, a lot in, in my office. Parents will come in and they're concerned. They, they want to know when is it safe for my child to start exercising and more importantly, as they get older, when is it okay and safe for them to start doing resistance training and exercise? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, what I try to do is outline to the parents uh, three different stages, if you will, in the <clears throat> evolution of strength training. Mm -hmm. And I start off by saying that plyometrics and body weight stuff is relatively safe. Um, but there are some recommendations as you go to the next level with resistance training and then ultimately to Olympic or bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. That's a different category. Yeah. So for today's discussion, I think we're going to stick to the body weight and the resistance training mm -hmm. aspect of that. A very nice guideline and recommendation that's out there is from the American Academy of Pediatrics. And, uh, and I, I share with parents in the office, <clears throat> wait until eight. Mm -hmm. And that means wait until you're eight years old to really get to the, the next level. We, we see from the literature that around eight years old, kids develop postural stability, balance, and proprioception. And at that point, when they develop that level of coordination, it's probably safe to begin that resistance training. Mm -hmm. And when you do begin resistance training, you would think it would be safer to do machines, you know, uh, Smith machines and weight machines, mm -hmm. but as we know, those machines are built for adults. Yep. They have the ad adult seat height, adult arm length, and yep. adult weight. Yep. So you're actually better off in a controlled setting uh, with the correct supervision doing free weights or body weights. Yep. Yeah, I think that's so important in the way you lay it out, the three phases uh, in the evolution of training, yeah. you know, plyometrics and then more body weight yeah. resistance training. And that's where we start our athletes, right at that eight-year-old, sure. you know, wait until eight is a great analogy. And when you talk about weight training, I think a lot of people confuse resistance training with sure. weight training. You know, when we talk about resistance, it's, you know, body weight resistance. Yes. It's, 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 you know, uh, squats or, you know, light med balls or, 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 you know, dumbbells you can use, you know, kettlebell squats, things of that nature that are, is very, very controlled. And very true. And, and the data is very supported. There's a lot of myths in resistance training and strength training. And for years that people believe that if you started lifting weights, you'd be shorter, you'd stunt your growth plates, you do damage your muscles, and the evidence does not support that. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's clear that strength training can have significant benefits to, to young athletes. They can significantly increase in muscle strength, somewhere in the range of 30 to 40% muscle gains over an eight to 12 week period. However, just like with adults, if you stop exercising, you can, you can lose your strength pretty rapidly. Mm. And so I think there are some benefits on the strength side. We've discussed in the past uh, the motivation, the self-confidence, yes. the benefits that come from that, which are very important in today's social media age. Yeah, yeah. There, there's significant benefits in, in body composition, in bone strength, and decreasing the risk of osteoporosis and fractures in the future. So there are some tremendous benefits to the strength training, resistance training. So well said. I think, you know, the literature is out there. Dr. Damian Martins, you know, stressing the importance of young athletes, yeah. uh, strength training, resistance training, and not with big bulky weights, but body weight, uh, proper supervision with light dumbbells or kettlebells done with the proper technique is going to enhance yes. not only performance, but enhance health. Thank you so much. I mean, really informative. And we're going to talk more on future segments about this subject. So stay tuned. You're going to get more content here from Atlantic Sports Health and Dr. Damian Marks. Thanks.